Hi everyone, welcome to this series on using the Batch Web Data Exporter version 2. Today we're going to have a quick look at the log window and what that means um, and how it can be used. So we're just going to click on view logs here. Okay, so over on the left here we've got the stock number of the title in question. We've got the associated um, ISBN, sorry, I was on the wrong screen there. So we've got um, when we were exported, what the stock number was, the ISBN, the title, the price that was sent, the report code, the quantity, the type of export that we, we were doing, um, and the um, export mode that we were in. So we can see we can see here we've got um, we've run we've done a few uh, exports in sync mode, and then we've uh, we've got a load of uh, data here from where we've done a data upload export. And then I expect if we look down far enough, oh, we've got some more syncs. There'll be some file exports somewhere. I would have thought. There we go. So we can have a look through here if you if you want to understand um, when a title has been uploaded, or when you've exported it. Um, you know, you could do something like you could order by stock number here, and then um, if we we're looking for a certain ISBN, we can we can type it into here, and we'll automatically locate to that piece of the screen. Let me do that. Back there, we're going to automatically. So you can using this box here, we can try and find a title if we if we wonder what's happened to it. Have we exported it? When did we last export it? Um, what was the price when we exported it? What was the report code? How did we export it? That all that data is in here, and you can uh, click on these columns to order by these. Uh, either by the time or the stock number or the title. Okay, so that's the exported data tab. That's got the most um, the most data on it. This is basically an audit um, of what we've done. Okay, so the next button along here, we've got skipped titles. So when we're performing an export, um, a, changes, um, a changes export or a, or a file export, um, we may exclude some titles um, from that export. So it may be that um, they've uh, only ever been a customer order. and We may have that um, selected um, in our configuration. Um, so that could be a reason. Um, see this line here, we've tried to export it, but it's been, ex it's been excluded from the export because it's only ever a customer order. Um, or it could be excluded by the query. So if we had a category filter and we'd only selected certain categories, um, it may be that we made a change to a title that was outside one of those categories. We were in sync mode perhaps. So the exporter has found that change, but then when it's gone to upload the change, it's found that it's not included in the filter. And so it's not sent it to the website and it's recorded that here. And it's told us why we've not exported that that particular title when that happened and uh, why was it, it was excluded um, and then we can go to the failed uploads uh, bit here hopefully there's not going to be stuff um, in here but um, if your internet connection went down um, you you may see things in here or if the plugin at the other end went wrong you can you can see some problems hopefully you're not going to want need to look in here but say if you did have an issue this could be useful information to provide um, someone in support with so they can diagnose your issue. The other function of this um, screen is to be able to reset titles. So we have this idea that um, if we've uploaded a title to our website previously, if we have the configuration option set to only send price, quantity and report code, um, uh, for changes export, then if we if the exporter can see here, oh well, we've exported this title before. 
when we go to export it again, if we're doing a changes export, then only the price quantity um, and report code of the title is actually going to be sent to the website. So say we had a title which we'd sent to the website previously and we noticed that the author name on the website is, is incorrect or we noticed the author name is, is incorrect on our shop database. And so we changed the author name to be correct. Now, that change is not going to be sent up to the website because it's a part of the metadata which is, which is excluded. So only the price, quantity, and the report code will be sent for titles that we've sent previously because we don't want to overwrite the metadata. So say I change the author name for this book here, Dad's Army. If I wanted that author name to be sent up to the website, I would need to come in here, select this title, and click Reset Title. Okay, we click Yes. That's going to remove the history for that item. And the next time we go to upload it, the full set of metadata for that title will be sent to the website. Okay, so that's um, that's the log window and how you can use it. Hope you found that useful, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.